Yeah, good afternoon to all. I think uh, we have gone through some export, import, definition of export and import and some basics of international trade in the last class, is it? Do you remember that? Okay. Today I will go through a part which is most important in international trade. It is nothing but, it is written there, foreign exchange market. So when I say it is nothing, it is everything. Do you know that this market, can you imagine, just I am asking you, can you imagine the size of this market? Just, just forget about it. What is a market? Hmm? What is a market? Where you can buy and sell any goods. So, usually there will be a buyer, is it? Seller, commodity and price. There will be a buyer, there will be a seller, there will be a commodity and there will be a price. So, can you define a foreign exchange market? You know, I have listed four components of a foreign exchange market. So, can you define the foreign exchange market? Because you can do that now. No, there is a buyer in foreign exchange market. What is a commodity? It is foreign exchange currency. So, there is a buyer and there is a seller and there is a commodity called foreign exchange nothing but foreign exchange currencies and there will be a price for each currency. So, before going to that I would like to cover in this 10 minute session what is forex market, what is forex, foreign exchange, what is forex assets, what you mean by foreign exchange assets the definition and what is a transaction in forex. So, I defined a market, foreign exchange market is a market where foreign exchange is bought and sold, it is very simple. So, why you have to buy and sell foreign exchange? Okay, I, I will go through a case study, it is very simple. Imagine there is an exporter in Tirupu, he is exporting Benin components maybe Benin part to US, he is exporting and he is paying his wages by which currency? Indian, Indian currency. He is exporting it, it goes to US and the American guy he will pay in 3 months in what currency? Dollar. Because he do have only dollars. So, the Indian exporter <coughs> send the goods to US and he gets in US dollar. We can write in dollar in this way, US dollar. So, can he pay his employees using US dollars in India? Now, what he should do then? Convert US dollars. He convert US dollars to Indian rupee. Where he can convert it? Foreign is a foreign exchange market. So, what is the function of a foreign exchange market? Converting currency. Converting currencies. Remember, I mentioned one example. Market doesn't include only US dollar. So, just just list those currencies that you know in your life other than Indian currency? Euro, Euro yen, yen Rials, Rials, Dirhams, then you know this pounds, Great pounds, British Pound. So, there are a lot of currencies other countries that have their own currency, but remember I mentioned one example where you send your goods to US. Suppose you are sending to UK what you will get? British Pound. So, where you can convert the currency to Indian rupee? Where you can convert this foreign currency to Indian rupee? It is foreign exchange market. So, I am going a little bit detail. Foreign exchange market is a physical or institutional structure. Okay. Nowadays, um, there is no physical format. 30 years or 40 years back, you have to carry the currency to the market in a bundle format and you have to transact and get Indian currency. Just tell me what is happening nowadays because of computer, ATMs, 
No, I am asking this guy after the transaction, he get US dollars. Okay. Remember, there is a party in between them called bank. In this example, a bank is a mediator between the exporter and importer. Remember, he is an exporter and he is an importer. So, the bank acts as a mediator, he converts the currency into <coughs> dollar to rupee. So, the rate at which the bank converts the dollar to rupee is called exchange rate, is it? So, if I say the bank is giving 1 dollar 45 and the Thirupur exporter exported around 10,000 dollars worth goods to US, when he gets in Indian rupee, how much he will get? 4 lakh. Yes, simple 4 lakh. Sorry, 4 lakh 50,000, is it? Simple. So, that is a foreign exchange market. So, the market is nothing but a physical instrument structure. I say nothing but, but remember, I forget to tell you one thing. This is the biggest market in the world, bigger than the bullion. Bullion means gold, bigger than the stock exchange. The daily average turnover goes up to 30,000 billion dollars, 30,000 billion dollars. So, the market will find out and what is this? I mentioned the name for this exchange rate and who will find out this exchange rate? The foreign exchange market. The market is finding out the exchange just like uh, just like uh, your onion market outside uh, the provision shop. The price is determined by the demand and supply of the onion. Same way the exchange rate of dollar is determined by the demand and supply of US dollar in Indian market. So, that is called an exchange rate. So, that is the second function and third function is and that is a question like uh, do you think that is any physical transaction is happening in foreign exchange market? No, nowadays there is nothing at all happening in foreign exchange market, everything is happening through electronic format. So, that is the first part and now you can define better than me what is a foreign exchange? What is a foreign exchange? is transacting one country's money to other country's money it's nothing but transferring of purchasing power rupee as such don't have any purchasing power in us dollar as such don't have a purchasing power in india but when you convert dollar to rupee it will have a purchasing power in india this is one only typical foreign exchange transaction i will give you another example where tourist is coming to india american tourist he changes dollars to rupee what is he doing actually he's transferring his purchasing power when he transfer his dollar purchasing power, what he can buy from McDonald's in US, then he get in rupee terms, he go to Delhi and he buys burger from McDonald's in Delhi. So, he transferring purchasing power. The simple market mechanism, but remember it is the most vibrant, active 24 hours into 7 days and 365 days year market. The market does not stop, does not close down. It is the biggest market in world in terms of volume, transaction and activities and even in terms of jobs is the biggest paid job in the world. Believe me banks pay highest salary to foreign exchange dealer, every bank have a foreign exchange department. You work in the department you have to work a little more time than any others, but it is highly rewarded profession in the life in, in the banking field. That is all about foreign exchange market. So, we have discussed export and import last week. There is a small problem in market, Do you? can you tell me? When you go through the newspaper every day morning, the fourth or fifth page, you can see one dollar is 45. Next day same place, same page, same newspaper, you can see one dollar is 44. What does indicate? The rate is constant or changing? Changing. changing. So, every market the price is varying or changing, it keep on changes. There is a slight risk. As an exporter, I thought that I will get 4 lakh 50,000, but actually when I got the dollars converted by Indian bank, how much I got? 4 lakh 40,000. So, there is a slight risk. So, I will uh, discuss about the risk management and risk complexity of foreign exchange market in next session. So, today I will stop here, but I would like to ask you, 
how important is foreign exchange market in foreign exchange transaction i mean in international trade i have given you an example you have to tell me how important it is it is a better platform for the improvement of the yes status, status. but remember research have shown that many people used to say we they love to see 1 dollar is rupees 1 it is impossible you don't have to be in such way actually 1 dollar is 114 yen still us is as rich as japan so the economic principles say you don't have to come into that level but the exchange rate keep on changing which is good because we have a floating system of course managed by reserve bank so do you have any questions on this area Travelers check is nothing but again it is one of the biggest volume in terms of transaction. A tourist when comes to India he carry a check just like you issue a check to your uh, client or customer. Only difference is he cross the border. He travel keep that check with him when he travels. When he comes to India it is written 500 dollars in his travelers check. He go to Indian bank he submit the travelers check he sign and give the check and Indian bank give you 500 into 45 this 45 existing exchange rate existing today morning what is the rate they will convert it may be high or low it depends any other okay thank you